Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am in a phenomenal mood. One of the best moods I think I have ever been in. <laughs> and it's not just because we're back on Cold War Zombies doing another little challenge, another little round 50. It's because the Black Ops 6 and the Xbox Showcase have just ended. I'm, about, I'm recording this maybe about 30 minutes, 45 minutes after the fact. And oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We are, for Call of Duty specifically, we are... We're eating. We're- I'm, I'm telling you now. Game's not even out. I've seen maybe, like, five minutes worth of gameplay. We're getting an old-timer, boys. We're getting an old-timer. And yeah, I'm ready to jump on that bandwagon today. Already. Because what I've seen, straight up, I genuinely think this is gonna be one of the best Call of Duties we have ever gotten. I am usually someone who is quite reserved pre-game, pre-like time I've played it. When it comes to my Call of Duty opinions these days, not this time. I am so incredibly excited for the next, like, era of Call of Duty that it's not even funny. I don't think I've been this level of excited for Call of Duty since Black Ops 4. You know, that original uh, release they did at Gamescom, I think it was, back in 2018. That was incredible. I am that levels of excited for this next game. <laughs> and I kind of want to use this video to just talk about that a bit. I don't really do the whole, you know, like, dedicated videos to, like, everything we learned about Black Ops 6 and... Yaddy, 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 yaddy. I kind of just like yapping about it whilst I'm shooting some zombies in video games. So that's what we're going to do about it. We're going to start close to home with zombies. We don't actually know a whole ton about zombies, but they did give us two pretty massive, and I mean like gigantic bits of news for zombies in Black Ops 6. On launch, day one, there will be two launch maps. It's Terminus, and then there's another one, which is something Valley. I don't remember the name of it exactly, but basically it's the two leaked maps that we saw like four or five months ago. One of them, which I think is Terminus, is an island kind of prison. Very similar to like Zed's Bonoshima and Mob of the Dead almost. Like it kind of feels like if those two maps had like a love child, Terminus would be the result. Honestly, I kind of dig it, you know? Zed's Bonoshima, notoriously hated by a lot of people. I kind of love it. It's grown on me a lot over the years. And Mob of the Dead, you know, obviously loved by everybody. And if, if the, the rumors are true, if the way it looks is, is, is right, it could be an incredibly good map. And then the other map is set in, I think it's like Virginia or something. Like, yeah, no, I don't know. It's like, we don't really know much about that one. It's set in the day. It's in a little town in Virginia. It looks kind of nice and pretty. But yeah, there are two maps on launch is obviously massive for Call of Duty Zombies. But not just that. The other massive piece of news we got is we're getting a crew. <laughs> four-man crew is back. And I can't believe I'm excited over a four-man crew coming back because I never thought I'd it'd leave. But it's back. I don't know exactly who the crew is. I don't remember the names off the top of my head. I'll probably put a, a picture up of like the stuff that I'm talking about. Maps included as well. In post and whatever. And like probably like put little name tags above them so you know who's who. But like it's so good. The fact that we're actually getting stuff back in zombies that people have wanted for quite a while. I don't know why they ever removed uh, the four-man crew. I mean, I do know why. Basically, it's to promote people to buy more skins and use them across more aspects of the game. But even if you want to play the game like that, there is now actually an option for you to play with either the set crew, which I think I will probably always have turned on, other unless I just get <laughs> bored of listening to the voice lines or whatever, or you can actually select it so you can play with your operators. The skins you buy and whatever in the store, you can have either or. You can play with the crew and get all the story goodness, or you can just play as, you know, whatever ridiculousness they decide to release. Honestly, I think it's, the, it's great. It's the best of both worlds. I love it. And then there was a few unconfirmed things that we kind of saw as well about zombies. Salvage seems to be returning. Honestly, don't hate it. Rampage Inducer is possibly returning. You know, we all know I love that thing. I've got it on already as well. Like, immediately from the get-go, obviously gonna have that thing turned on. And honestly, a lot of, like, the, the new stuff they introduced into this game coming back, I'm not too appeased by it. I kind of like change. You know, if you've been around for a while, you'll know that I... I embrace change. I love change. I think change is great. And then continuing building on the foundations that this game laid, I think is a great, great starting point for the future of zombies. My only concern is like, are kill streaks going to be back in? Is this thing going to be around? Is armor going to be around? Honestly, I'm not too bothered about this whole crafting table thing. I hardly use it anyway, if I'm to be honest. Uh, armor, I would rather be a shield that we build, you know, like back in the day. Oh my God, I almost went down already. I can't have a round six down. I refuse. I refuse. As I was saying though, I would rather armor be, you know, what it was back in the day. There's a couple of parts on the map. You go find them, you build it, you've got yourself a nice little shield. End of. 
All right, I don't care about plates. I don't care about having like an armor rig, whatever. Doesn't fit the narrative. Don't like it. Don't want it. Get it gone. All right, <laughs> simple as. But salvage and like equipment drops when you kill zombies, honestly, I don't care. I like it. Having an, another new way to upgrade your guns, always gonna like that. Always gonna enjoy that. Like cry about it, don't care. <laughs> I enjoy that kind of stuff. I'm happy to have it in zombies. My main thing is I just want the game to be a little more difficult. That is it. All right. I don't care what they do, what they add, what they change, what they bring back. All right. If they turn it into an MMO RPG style game, you know, if we've got upgrades to get upgradable perks, whatever else, I don't care. Bring it all back. Give me more content to enjoy. I'll enjoy it every day of the week. I just want the game to be a little bit more difficult. That is it. If the game's a little bit more difficult, it's got a little bit more challenge into it, I think I'm going to be a very happy human. I mean, Rampage Inducer does obviously add a nice little bit of challenge. We've got sprinters straight from the go. You know, they hurt a bit more. It's nice. all good and groovy. But just an extra level of, like, baseline difficulty, I think would be great. Bring back three hit down. Like I said, bring back shields rather than armor so you don't just run around like a tank, whatever. I would be A-OK -okay with that. All groovy, pretty happy. And I think a lot of people would be the same as well, to be honest. But for zombies, that is kind of all the information we have right now. Two new maps, crews returning, and then salvage, possibly rampage inducer. That is pretty much it. <laughs> There's not really a whole lot to go on because the direct mainly focused on what the campaign is going to be. A little bit of multiplayer. And I think the main point that they wanted to get across was uh, the movement. The new movement in uh, Black Ops 6 looks insane it, like it looks it looks pretty it looks crazy let's be honest it looks pretty mad they have omnidirectional movement which if you don't know basically means you can just move in any direction you can do whatever you want in any direction i think that's kind of cool you can slide in any direction you can dive in any direction you can run you can turn you can move you can fight you can sprint forward now you can run backwards you can run side to side like they have a whole thing where they're showing like how you can slide forward you can like slide into like a dolphin dive like flipping your back all this like crazy stuff like it's gonna like i don't know about you but like it has me big cheese and just thinking about it now has me like really really excited just to play call of duty black ops 6 like not just play zombies but play the entire game like i didn't get into uh call of duty because of zombies back in the day like it was it was uh multiplayer you know like i grew up playing multiplayer it's what i enjoyed you know i was a world at war it was my first game into into mw2 and like multiplayer was the thing i played it was the thing i enjoyed and i continued probably up until about black ops 2 as like my main thing over time i kind of gradually moved into into zombies being the main thing that i play for call of duty but just having all of this new stuff and it just being it just looking like it's going to be a great overall package has me like just incredibly excited to get on this game in October, October 25th. That's the release date. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Late little birthday present for me. Yes, please. Like it just I, I'm so excited. I like I like I said, I don't think I've had this level of excitement for a Call of Duty game in well, it'd be six years, literally six years. <laughs> like, like I said, I've been pretty reserved over my excitement for Call of Duty of late because of the I wouldn't say all of the games have been disappointments. I think MW3 is a great overall package campaign. Yeah, right. The ending sucks it is what it is. The zombies, a bit lackluster, but it's still pretty, it was still pretty enjoyable for a bit. I still enjoy it every now and then. Multiplayer, I think, is great. Warzone, honestly, don't give a crap about it. Don't care. It can burn in hell for all I give a shit about. Don't care about it, all right? That's the other thing as well. Seemingly so far, Warzone isn't a part of, like, the main promotional material. They didn't speak an ounce of Warzone in the direct, like, at all, which I think is pretty interesting to me. But zombies is there. It, 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 it's front and center almost. Like, it's back in the main promotional material which has me very excited because that just means like if, if it's in the main promotional material they care about it you know and they, they mean i mean they want to make it good they want to make it like to a point where everyone's going to be going it and playing it they want to make it accessible they want to make it entertaining for everybody and that honestly has me very excited because if they're caring about zombies and they want to get people playing it it's going to be good right it just it will be now that might be the hopium and the copium coming through <laughs> which it probably is but man just let me dream all right it's been four years i think since cold war came out and like it's, it's four years without a great call of duty game to play zombies wise i know people who sit there and going oh call of duty's not great cold war's not great blah 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 blah. shut up <laughs> all right this game is good all right and i'll fight anyone who disagrees but other than like zombies and movement it also looks like the campaign is going to be taking place primarily it looks like in america like from the story of the story takes place I think after the events of 1989 and Black Ops 2, if you've ever played that game, which kind of is pretty cool to me. So that means uh, Mason, I'm sorry, he's dead. <laughs> uh, if you don't know, the canon ending to Black Ops 2 is where you shoot Mason when like he comes out and he's got those two guards next to him and the hood over his head. 
Uh, like, you basically, the kind of ending is you shoot him in the head and he dies. Uh, there is, like, a secret way to end that mission if, like, you shoot him in the leg or whatever and he survives. Yada, yada, yada. The, the canon ending is he dies. I mean, I don't know what that's going to mean for the story. I know a lot of it seemingly is taking place in America. A lot of like espionage kind of stuff. I mean, very Black Ops like esque, you know, mission details, whatever. But it seems like a lot of it is dealing with like, you know, the enemy within kind of stuff, like within like the American government, whatever. It seemingly looks like Adler is being portrayed as like the bad guy. But that is like, doesn't kind of make sense to me right now without knowing like the full details of the campaign, considering he was our ally in Cold War. Like, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> it's interesting to see how they're gonna take it. Um, obviously, Woods is back. Not as, I don't think he'll be as like a, a playable character or like an NPC that's in missions with you. Like physically, it's gonna be more like the voice kind of stuff like they have. Like think of like in Zombies where you've got like Weaver and whoever else talking to you over comms like we're about to see in a second when we get back from here. I think it's gonna act a little bit like this, you know, like Weaver's on the comms. I think Woods is going to be talking to you, like, in missions or whatever from, like, your HQ and whatever. They're, they're doing a lot of really cool stuff for this game that has me very excited and very, like, intrigued to see what it's all about when I actually get my hands on it in four months. <laughs> Which is actually, you know, like, four months, like, four months and 15 days from the day. Or 16 days, whatever. I can't do maths. Like, that's not a long time. Also, the fact, like, day one with Game Pass is incredible. You know, like, what you can pay... I don't know how much it is anymore, the, the subscription, I think it's like, what, $8.99, $10.99, depending on what platform you're on and what, like, bundle you go with and whatever. You get the game day one. You can pay, I think it's in, like, UK currency, I think you can pay an extra £30 on top of that and get all of the vault uh, contents. You get, like, the, the pre-order stuff, you get all the skins, you get the early access, you get access to the betas and whatever. There's going to be no more timed exclusivity, so, like, no more... PlayStation gets the beta a week early and then Xbox get it and then we get like a weekend of everything together Like it's all gonna be at the same time in one place Every single time which I think is great like having everybody on the game at the same time is always gonna be uh, What you want for Call of Duty rather than having it split between several different like times and you know events and whatever That always kind of sucked I thought with PlayStation like I love that I love that uh, console and whatever But I uh, did not like the way they handle Call of Duty very much in terms of like timed exclusivity so having it all being on like the one timeline if you will whatever love that don't love the fact though that it's already getting a little spicy with this crossbow on round 11 <laughs> 12 already oh my god the accuracy has not learned how to be good in my however many years of playing this game oh let's be fair the crossbow in this game is a bit funky like the actual bolt doesn't go where you aim it kind of has this weird like upward trajectory and then kind of like falls down a little bit in like a curved you know what i mean though like it kind of it kind of shoots out like a little bit of an angle and then just like a little curved like thing it's weird uh, i know what i mean <laughs> well the one thing i do love about it though is that it can absolutely cruise through just hordes of zombies like the arrow i think can kill upwards of like eight or nine enemies it's insane it's so powerful <laughs> anyway black ops 6 campaign Looks really interesting. Looks like we're going back to that true, like, secret Dark Ops, like, Black Ops thing, which I love from the the uh, the earlier games, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 specifically. Obviously, it being set, I think, in 1991, Gulf War era. Very interesting. We've never seen a Call of Duty in that era before. I think it's going to be pretty fun. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm just, I'm excited, man. <laughs> you know? Like, I've been... I've been big cheesing from, like, minute one of that direct up to now, and it's just... Like I said, I know a lot of people over the last like couple of years have been very reserved about their their, their 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 thoughts before the game's even out and in their hands and whatever when it comes to Call of Duty. I get it. You know, there's been some pretty big disappointments over the last couple of years. The main two, I think, for a lot of people being Vanguard and MW2. I know a lot of weirdos will probably be like, well, MW3 should be on the list as well. It's like, no. The only bad part about MW3 is the campaign. And even then... The campaign's like half all right until the last mission <laughs> and it being like three hours long. Like if it was six hours long and a little bit of a better ending, I think a lot of people would have been a lot more accepting of that. But, you know, it sucks that the ending was so poor in MW3, obviously shoehorning in a fourth title in that um, in that series, which is a bit unfortunate. I'd have rather they wrapped it all up in MW3, but Activision like their money. <laughs> and it is what it is. But it's, it's, very, it's very clear to see that Treyarch really are like the top dogs when it comes to Call of Duty. Like even 
even just going on Twitter and like seeing the excitement people have. I mean, I think uh, Charlie Intel posted a tweet, which as of like as of recording this, it's literally it's been up like an hour. I think it has like 20 odd thousand likes already. And it's literally just talking about like the movement being omnidirectional. And like, I don't think I've seen a, a tweet about like positive about Call of Duty get that much engagement, positive engagement that quickly in what feels like years. You know, if like it's insane. Like I think I think it's great to see that like the community is really actually excited for something involving this game. You know, campaign looks great. Multiplayer looks like it could be pretty great. 12 core maps at launch and then four in something that I think they called Spike, I think, which is like a 6v6 or a 2v2 game mode. I probably won't play it, <laughs> but it looks pretty interesting. But man, I just oh. The, oh, there's so much stuff. I should have wrote notes. <laughs> I'm trying to remember most of this off the dome. It's just like the excitement got a bit ahead of me and I forgot. Like, it's genuinely, though, a game I think I'm going to be, like, playing all year round as well, which is another thing that excites me. MWZ, or MW3, I should say. Like, I played a lot of it at launch. I play a little bit every now and then here and there. Make a couple of TikToks on it every now and then, whatever. Uh, try and grind out the camos and whatnot, the mastery camos. But I don't really play it as much as I thought I would. Like, I play it maybe like a couple hours a month at this point. <laughs> but I genuinely feel like Black Ops 6 is going to have me on it every day, all day for the, the, the year. Also, what is going on with these Megatons? I've killed three of you in four rounds. Like, chill out. Jesus Christ. There's so many of them are spawning. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the challenge. I know I said literally five minutes ago, I want challenge back in zombies, but like, leave me alone. Oh my God, he's going to shoot me. I'm going to die. No, the dog's going to hit me. <sighs> Let's not play like an idiot. Probably the smart thing. Give me that armor. Let's just collect ourselves a little bit. I think one of the things as well that uh, like excites me is like we're in that uh, we're in like the theory part of like the game now. Like we know a bit of the information. We know some big information. Omnidirectional movement. Really cool. Right. We know what the campaign's going to like kind of take place and what it's going to be about. We know what we're getting for multiplayer. We know a little bit about what we're getting for um, for zombies. But like all of the actual like in-depth details we know very little about. Like we don't know what the, the actual like class system is going to be like. I've seen rumors that it's going to be like a pick 8 or a pick 10, maybe even a pick 12, which is interesting, but hasn't been confirmed anywhere. Uh, I know a lot of people are you know, trying to like delve through all of the little like details of the direct, seeing what like, little hidden things they can find and whatnot. I know some people have seen when Kevin Drew was talking about zombies, he has like the Black Ops 3 manual with like a how to take uh, like criticism or how to like receive feedback or something like manual on top of that with like a box or like a little tub of like bubblegum, gobblegum things. Gobblegum? <laughs> Bubble... Oh my god. Bubblegum gobblegums kind of looking things. Jesus Christ, that was so difficult for my brain to figure out how to say. <laughs> Which could mean, you know, they, they've learned their lesson with Black Ops 3 rather than it being like a pay-to-win system. Are they earnable? I would assume they're earnable. I'm assuming you can also pay for them, but I would, but I would hope you can also earn them just as much as you can, you know, buy them and whatever. Like, if I can get to round 50 and then almost guarantee myself a procaholic like drop at the end of every game that would be pretty sick i mean maybe not like round 50 that'd be a bit easy but like you know what i mean like if you can complete like 250 rounds 500 rounds in the week or whatever and then like you can complete the challenge you get yourself like a mega gobblegum like drop or reward or something and it gives you like you know three or four gobblegums in this drop or whatever that would be pretty sick you know like we're in that speculation like time now and i think it's like one of the most fun parts you can get about like pre-release call of duty like, you know a bit, but you don't know everything. And you can start, like, trying to speculate what's going to be in the game and whatnot. Like I said, man, it just it, it's got me excited to play games, to play Call of Duty again. And uh, <laughs> I genuinely cannot wait. Like, I, I, I jokingly put out on Twitter that I think Black Ops 6 is going to revive my streaming career. But now I'm sat here talking about it. I genuinely think it is going to. Because, like, I just want, like, it's not even out. And I just want to play it. I just want to, I just want to play zombies. I want to play multiplayer. Like, I just want to experience it. Because, like, it's, like, I don't think I've ever disliked a Black Ops game. Like, I didn't love Cold War multiplayer, but that's kind of about it. Like, Black Ops 1, I know I joke about it being, like, pretty tame and pretty boring. I still spent so many goddamn hours playing that game when I was a kid. You know, I still put so much time into that game. Like, yeah, I don't want to play it these days. Still probably one of my most played Call of Duty games of all time. God, I've been yapping so much. I've been recording for 20 minutes, and it's already round 20. Oh my god. Crossbow, by the way. If this isn't back in Black Ops 6, I'm coming for you, Triarch. <laughs> All right. That's another thing, actually, as well. I forgot to mention. In in the direct, they mentioned that there is going to be 12 brand new, never-seen-before guns 
in Co in a Call of Duty game. That ad, like, I'm not, like, someone who's, like, a massive, like, gun nerd. <laughs> you know, like, I'm English. Of course I'm not. But it does have me pretty excited. Like, one of the, one of my main things is, like, I kind of hate using the same guns every year. Like, I like having, like, a bit of variety. I like using different stuff. So, like, having 12 brand new weapons coming into the game on launch, obviously with classics. Like, the M16 is going to be in the game. The MP5 will probably be there. You'll have, like, your M60. Your M4s, your AK-47s, and AK-74Us, and, you know, I'm assuming the Galil will probably be in the game in some capacity, and, you know, like, the, whatever snipers you like will be there, but then you have on top of that 12 brand new entries, that excites me, <laughs> like, I always love using new stuff, especially when it comes to zombies, you know, like, I can do, I can do 12 brand new types around 50s that I've never done before, because I'll have 12 brand new weapons, that excites me. There's another Megaton. I, I killed... Round 17 was the last one when it spawned. What is going on? What... Like... I don't think I've ever fought this many Megatons this early before in my life. I think... I think usually I would have had two spawn by now. I think I've had five. It's been... It's been four or five that have spawned. This is... What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Right, we need to deal with this guy first, though. Only 5,000 damage because I'm still at tier 1 Pack-A-Punch. Kind of forgot to get my weapon upgraded. Although, to be fair, it kind of just shows you just how good this weapon is. You know? T round 21. Purple tier uh, upgrade. Level 1 Pack-A-Punch. And it's still cruising its way through. Dude, 8,000 damage on a headshot with Deadshot. That's actually kind of insane. I won't lie, those also feel great. <laughs> just being back playing like a normal round 50. It feels like forever since I've just sat and done this. Even though I know it's only been like two weeks. It feels like forever because of the challenges we've been doing. Like, Easter egg challenge this. Octagon Ascension challenge this. Gun game here. It's just kind of nice to turn off the brain, use a, a weapon that I actually really do enjoy using, and just try and get to round 50 with it for the first time in a long time. The game I love is well and truly back on the board. I'm playing a game that I love with a weapon I love. Man, it's been a great day. Man, I'm just like... <laughs> can't believe it. Can't believe it. All right, round 22. I have 60,000 points. I think it's probably time we get some pack a punch going on the uh, the old crossbow. I've got 870 salvage as well, so 130 more, and we can get legendary tier. Should probably also maybe get a couple of perks on the go. Round 22, round 23 soon. <laughs> I've only got stamina up, jug, and dead shot. Uh, probably work on some of those perks as well. Where the hell is this zombie? I can see his little dot, but I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. All right, good. Holy accuracy. <laughs> Another thing as well, it's taken me 29 minutes to get around to it, 30 minutes. The hood. The hood. All right, the heads up display is seemingly fully customizable. Did you hear that? Fully customizable. They didn't, they didn't talk about it much. It was kind of like a little, like literally two minute thing. But from the looks of it, you can turn off elements of the hood so you know <laughs> radar in zombies i can get rid of it the coordinate thing at the top i can get rid of it you know the health bar the points whatever else the revive stuff i'm assuming i can get rid of it you know a bit well basically everything on the bottom i do like <laughs> i'm not gonna lie obviously i know i like having my perks I like being able to see what i've got I like being able to see my ammo and whatnot my health i'm not too bothered about i could probably get rid of that and, like, my points obviously need those. But the fact that, like, that we finally have... It's been God knows how many years as well. Like, this isn't just, like, a, re a recent thing with, like, um, Call of Duty. But this is, we're going back to, like, pre-Black Ops, like, 2 stuff. With, like, stuff in Call of Duty. Being able to, like, customize your hood. Have things the way you want it. Put this there. Put this there. That way. Have it this big. Have it that small. Like, being able to do stuff like that now is incredible and like they really are pulling out all the stops <laughs> you know for this game like it's literally this game is just basically feedback of the game <laughs> like we've taken everything you've told us over the last couple of years decade even if you will and we're, we're, we're putting in some new stuff that we've been wanting to do for a while and we're also giving you all the stuff you wanted for years and like i couldn't be happier no more running around in zombies having a radar and like your goddamn coordinate thing up, up top if you don't want it to hell you can get rid of you got, i'm assuming you could probably get rid of like your your uh your ammo thing you could basically just have it so like there's nothing on the screen other than like your gun in hand and whatever else you know no no more of like the the zombie kill pop-up stuff like you see 
I don't hate that, but I know a lot of people do. I mean, you know, I, I grew up playing like Borderlands and whatever, like damage numbers and stuff like that doesn't really bother me. Growing up playing like Borderlands Destiny and stuff like that, like having health bars and zombies and damage numbers and whatever. Honestly, I kind of like it, but I understand why people don't if you're not used to that kind of stuff. But man, like they're just really doing a lot of the things that people have been wanting them to do. And I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, we're in for an old timer. We're getting one of the best. Like I know I know there's going to be some gremlin out there that's like, mm, this is in Black Ops 3.2 that I've been wanting for the past decade. I'm not playing it. Honestly, <laughs> don't care, right? Black Ops came, it saw, it conquered and it left. All right, time to move on. And if Black Ops 6 truly does live up to the hype, oh my God, we're in for an old timer, I'm telling you. We're in for an old timer. Customizable HUDs, two zombie launch maps, omnidirectional movement, set crew and zombies, 12 multiplayer maps at launch, 12 core multiplayer maps, I should say, with four in this new mode, whatever it is. You know, a bunch of new guns. Oh my God, man, I'm telling you. We're getting an old timer. Although, however, <laughs> If Black Ops 6 rolls around and it doesn't have the Howard 77 in it, I'm gonna riot. Alright, end of. If my boy's not back, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh my god, I need to learn how to aim. I cannot hit this blaster. Jesus Christ, there we go. Finally, he's down. Like I said, man, the, the, the bolt in this weapon, it does not shoot straight. Look. Never mind, I missed. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't shoot straight. Alright, round 27. I have my Tesla Storm. I'm, pr I'm gonna go buy myself some Burks, finally. I said it like five rounds ago and just never did it. I think it's time I actually do uh, get myself a little bit of protection. Give me all of that. And let's be groovy. That's another thing as well. Obviously, we don't know a whole ton of, like, the details about zombies. You know, two launch maps, set crew, gobble gums. That's kind of it. We've heard that there's going to be a lot of returning mechanics. I'm assuming that's just going to be stuff like, oh, you've got perks. Oh, <laughs> You've got Easter eggs. Oh, you've got the Pack-a-Punch. Oh, you've got this. You know, uh, uh, salvage. Probably armor, which, you know, it's a bummer for me, but it is what it is. You know, and some other stuff. But, like, is there going to be a, a perk limit? Like, what's going on there? Like, I kind of hope there is. Like, I would rather it be, like, oh, here is a five perk limit, but every map has, like, an Easter egg where you can just go and get a perkaholic. You know, like, you've got to work to get all your perks if you want. And if you're down, you lose it all. It's as simple as that. Like, that I'm fine with. But just being able to go and buy all of the perks, I do find it a little bit boring. A little bit tame at times. Like, I've literally, around 27, I had three perks, <laughs> you know, before that. And I've just gone and bought another six like immediately like i just feel like it would be better to have a perk limit in place here's four perks five perks that you can buy do a little easter egg do a little you know something something here and there and then you can go and buy extra perks whether that's one extra perk whether it's two whether it's three i mean we don't even know how many perks there's going to be in the game i'm assuming we're going to get jug quick revive speed you know stamina will probably be in the game basically i think everything we have in this game other than i think maybe tombstone probably won't make the cut because let's be honest tombstone kind of stinks and i still don't think anyone really cares about that perk death perception i could also see maybe being um axed but other than that you've got what your jug stamina up speed dead shot uh quick revive phd elemental pop right i reckon they'll all be back in some capacity at least are we gonna get that are we gonna get double tap like is 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 that perk gonna come back or is it dead and dubbed <laughs> you know like is it actually over is 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 double tap no longer? Because I also think perk systems and whatever are very dependent on what the game is like. Because obviously if, if Black Ops 6 Zombies operates similarly to this, where like, okay, you've got X amount of health for zombies, guns will deal X amount of damage up to whatever round, is double tap even going to be needed? Because double tap is not needed in this game. Like if double tap was a thing in this game, you would you'd need double zombie health or at least give them 50% extra, which in turn kind of then negates the need for the perk, because like, what's the point? If you're just gonna give us a perk to deal more damage and then make zombies have way more health, it kind of defeats the point. So like, it kind of, like, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what they do. Honestly, after playing this game as much as I have, I'm not too uh, appeased if we don't have double tap. I think this game kind of runs perfectly without it and like it's gameplay and whatever, like in terms of just killing zombies. I mean, Deadshot kind of takes the mantle of double tap having that extra you know 100 percent critical damage if a zombie's at full health like is more than enough hit them in the head <laughs> you know dead shot obviously if you're in controller as well you still get that like 
auto headshot like lock on. I think I think it's not needed. I know obviously there'll be someone who will be like raging because double tap is no longer around or whatever. If it's not in the game, that is. But man, like I said, it's just it's good to be back in that like speculation era of like Call of Duty. Like, is this gonna be in the game? Is this gonna be in it? Are we gonna be doing this? Is this, 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 and that? Like, oh man, it feels so good. It feels so good. Like, don't get me wrong, I've had levels of excitement going into other titles i was excited for vanguard you know because like we'd, we'd come off the high of cold war i thought we were gonna continue that that train and obviously you know it ended up crashing and burning mw19 i was a bit excited for that one because they were reviving like you know a franchise or a series i guess the name that i grew up loving i was a bit reserved about mw3 after um after MW2. I was excited for MW2, and I was excited for Cold War, obviously. This game trumps the excitement I felt for those games by 10. It's otherworldly. <laughs> the excitement I feel for Black Ops 6 in comparison to those other games. Like, it's insane. I don't know if it's just because, like, we've not had a tryout game in four years. I don't know if it's because it's Black Ops, and Black Ops just is the best sub-franchise within Call of Duty. I don't know what it is, man, but I'm so excited. <laughs> Like I said, I haven't felt this level of excitement for a game in years. Call of Duty, that is, in years. I also just want to say as well, quickly, I think I'm going to make like a 20,000 uh, subscriber special. I think I am. And I have an idea for it. Um, and it was actually an idea that I had for when I hit 5k subs. And I never did it. I just never got around to doing it. And that, that, the idea for it, it's, 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 it'll be a zombie-themed challenge, obviously. Evolving, you know, the number 20,000. And I had an idea for it. You can probably kind of understand what the idea is a little bit, but it's not exactly how you're thinking, trust me. I had this idea ages ago when I hit 5k subs, and I never got around to it. And obviously, you know, four times the number, that's terrifying to think of. I might do it, I might not, but it might if I do do it, it's gonna be like a month before you see it, you know? Because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a big project. It's gonna be like a this it's gonna take me a, a probably at minimum like a full day to record it <laughs> and then edit it and whatever. But I have an idea. I might do it, I might not, I don't know. Alright, I think I'm gonna get this wrapped up a little earlier than our usual round fifty shenanigans. As I said, I mainly wanted to use this video as a way to talk about Black Ops 6, get those feelings out there. You know, maybe get a bit of discussion going down in the comments because I, for one, I'm extremely, extremely excited for the next game in this franchise. I genuinely think Black Ops 6 will be the best modern era Call of Duty. Better than MW 2019, better than MW 2, MW 3, Vanguard, Cold War. I genuinely think it will be the best. It might even possibly squeeze itself into the conversation after a couple months of release into, into like the best Call of Duty games let alone just the best modern day ones. New movement looks incredible. Zombies, two maps at launch, set crew coming back. All the other goodness from Cold War probably gonna be back as well. 16 multiplayer maps at launch for for, uh, for MP is great. <laughs> just campaigns gonna be fire as usual with Black Ops. Like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. We're in for an old time with Black Ops 6. October 25th is the game's release. I think COD Next is August 28th, which is the next time we're going to see details about the game. And man, I'm excited. <laughs> and man, I'm telling you, I am so excited. Thanks so much for watching. Please do, once again, let me know down in the comments what your feelings are for the next game and all that. I'd love to know. As usual, my name is Masach, and I'll see you in the next one.